I'm going to change my uh, lighting fixture right here, my outdoor lighting fixture from this old one, this black one, to right here, this brand new one. Um, and this is uh, just showing how I replace my lighting fixture. Here's a circuit breaker that um, has a main switch to all the power throughout the house. I can turn off each breaker point at the house if I want to, or I can just turn off the main down there and I'll shut off everything, including your refrigerator and, um, and your AC and, and stuff like that. Well, because I, I can either turn this off by just flipping it, switching it like that for the main one, or I can look at this list of of where each breaker goes to and turn off it individually because I know for a fact that right here this is for the outside light so I can just turn this off by doing that. That turns off that light outside and this turns it back on so now we want it off. So now it's off outside. So after you turn off the power, the first thing you do is, most of the time there's two little knobs right here, and then you just unscrew it to take out these knobs. Oops, drop one knob on the floor. <clears throat> Alright, place those knobs up. So, and then you just pull the fixture out. Most of the time, you'll see three wires. Right here, white is neutral, right there. Black is hot, right there. And you can see the copper wire up here, I'll show it to you in a second, that that's ground. This fixture right here should have a green wire for ground, but apparently this one doesn't. And uh, it's not a problem. Um, the new one we have will have a ground. Most of the time, you have electric wire nut con uh, contactors right here to connect the two wires, the wires from your house power to the appliance or to this light fixture right here. So to take it off, you just unscrew it counterclockwise and you take both of them off. So, since we turn off the power, there shouldn't be power on those two leads, but we might sometimes accidentally turn off the wrong uh, connection. So, you always want to be careful for the black wire not to touch the white or the black wire to touch the actual uh, fixture behind it because it can short to ground and it can cause a spark. Most of the time, after I unhook them, I just put back this nut on it close it back up and then I'm going to put away this old fixture. So I turned off the power but it's always good to double check to see if the power is off. You can take your digital multimeter, your DMM, turn it on, have it go to AC I'm going to set the range. So I have this at AC and take off these two connections right here. And what you want to do is you just want to, oops, you just want to measure between neutral and ground. I mean neutral and hot. So if I measure between neutral and hot, it doesn't matter where the probes touch because this is AC signal, but you can see there was there's no voltage on it. Let me go in and turn on and see how what happens when you do have power. Right now the power is on. So hot, usually the black wire right here is what's hot. And if I measure the black wire to the holding fixture, you can see it has 120 volts because ground wire right here completes the circuit. If I touch ground to neutral, you can see there's zero volts. Because ground and neutral should be the same. 
but from hot to neutral, again, 120 volts. So at any time, even though if this wire is on, right here, the neutral, and right here, the ground, is safe, should be safe, but hot is going to electrocute you. So just be careful with the black wire and make sure that that is off. So now we're going to take out um, this bracket behind right here. Most of the time there's only two screws. Taking off the top screw right here. So that bracket is off. That one screw is off. Now to the next screw. And I can safely touch the black wire and safely touch the neutral wire. And I can pull this out. So here's the content of uh, my uh, light fixture. I have the mounting cross, the bracket right there. These are the outlet box screws that goes, that ties this into the outlet box, the electric outlet box. Right here, these are support nuts and screws. These mount the light fixture onto here. These are the washers that go along with it and some hex nuts right there that we can use it to adjust with. And here are the electric, new electric nuts, ground screw. So I want to put the supporting screws into the uh, bracket right here. Um, this bracket has a flat surface and then has a, a uh, crooked surface. The crooked surface goes onto the back right here, just like that. Um, so the screws go in uh, to one of the. There's a four holes right here. Two is what we're going to use. So apparently that the two closer screws are the ones that we're going to use. And you can see it's not straight. It's at an angle, and that's fine. So I'm going to put this in. Screw it in like that for the first one, and you can look at the second one right here. Goes into this hole, so I'm going to screw that in. And you kind of want to look to the side right here. Kind of want to see that the screws are sticking out a little bit like that. And you want to adjust it so that this flat surface lays flat on that with enough of the tip of the screw sticking out of the surface right here. So later on you can put these uh, nuts on it to lock in the light fixture. <clears throat> so, and also because we don't want these screws to move, we put a nut on top of here to lock it in. So I have my bracket right here with the supporting screws and nuts tied in place. I'm going to have to put the flat surface against the outlet box. So I have two screws. I'm going to put the ground on the surface behind here, tighten it down. I'm going to put this other one right down here, screw right down here, tie that screw down into the outlet box. Sometimes you don't want to tighten too tight, you want to give it a decent tension because you don't want to strip the outlet box. 
Now we're ready to connect um, these wires together. So this silver, I mean this uh, copper wire right here at the at the light fixture um, goes to the frame right here to this uh, bracket right here, and I can tie this onto it like so, and screw it in. Next I attach the hot wire together, the two blacks, put the electric nut on it and turn clockwise, attaches that, you can see that they're both tight. Now I attach the neutral white wire. Once again I do it, turn it clockwise. So right now I'm going to push these wires back into the electric box and I'm going to put this and align it up with the uh, support screws. So as you can see right here there's two of these on both sides. This is the uh, support sc uh, screws. It's really close to the surface. I don't have enough room to tie in the nuts that go on top of it. So I have to take this off and readjust uh, the screws by a little bit more. So I'm going to take this off and then I readjust this. I loosen up the nut and I want the screw to come out a little bit more. All right, tighten this up. Lock it in. Okay, that's enough. And then I'm going to tie up the nut so this screw will not move anymore. All right, that's tight. So. So I have a washer, a rubber washer, I'm going to put that on there, now I'm going to put the nut on top of that and screw it in, so that's holding place, I'm going to do it on the other side, okay I'm going to tighten that up. This is tight. I'm going to turn on the light. There you go. That's how you install a light fixture.